Hi ladies, how are you guys doing tonight? So I wanted to do a quick little video about network marketing. Okay, so we're gonna get down to the basics. And I know that I did a training like this not too long ago, but I wanna do it again because we have added some girls to the team since then. All right, so as you all know that, you know, we have lots of friends on Facebook, but we don't necessarily see everyone on Facebook, okay? Facebook has algorithms, and basically is that Facebook wants you to go on Facebook. They want you to be interested. And if you haven't talked or socialized or connected with a person in a long time, they're not going to put their newsfeed up on yours because you're not haven't really shown any interest in that. Um, for example, if when you're 15 years old, you may love NSYNC the band, but when you're 25, you may not really like him anymore. So you're not gonna really want to see what's going on with NSYNC or Justin Timberlake um, anymore. Okay, so Facebook's not gonna show you things. It's a learning, um, it's a learning program. So they know that you're not gonna go and unlike or defriend that person, but they also know that you know um, that you change and you grow up. So they're just not gonna necessarily show any of their contact unless it's very, very popular. So that's why you'll see, um, we're getting married, we're engaged, we're having a baby, we got a new house, I got a promotion, because those are popular posts. And even though you haven't seen them in a while, you know, you'll see that there's you know over 150 likes and they have a bunch of comments. It's because it's it's a very popular post, okay? So what I want you guys to do, each and every one of you, is go through your friends list and pick 10 girls. I'm not saying only 10, you can do 20, 30, 40, or 50. And go message the person and be like, hey girl, how's it going? Um, I saw that you had a baby or got a new promotion or moved away. There's something going on with her that hasn't, you know, recently that you can actually talk about. Do not talk about unique. Do not talk about unique. All right. Don't talk about unique. I don't care if she says what's going on with you. Don't mention unique. Okay. Mention anything other than unique. All right. Make that connection. Or you can go ahead and if you don't feel that comfortable messaging her, start commenting on her photos. But when you comment, make sure it's engaging. For example, you'll see a cute picture of her and her baby. All right, instead of saying cute baby, you can say, oh, what a beautiful baby. I love your shoes, where did you get them? It makes her have to respond. Once she starts responding to, your, um, to you, Facebook will see that you guys made a connection. Even though you made a comment on hers, that means her newsfeed will start popping on, on yours. But d that does not mean that your newsfeed is necessarily popping on hers. So you have to make the connection both ways. So make sure that when you make a comment, it's engaging. Ask a question, you know, um, about her hair, about her shoes. She's there's posts that is something engaging that you like or you want to know something about. Like, oh my gosh, I had no idea that you surfed. How long have you been doing that? I didn't know that you were, if she's another direct sale, I didn't know that you were in wraps. How is that going? You know what I mean? Make sure that you make that connection. Make sure it's very, very engaging, okay? That's all what social um, network marketing is, is making that connection and keeping that relationship going. All right, I have met so many people that um, I've actually, never even physically met, but I've kept that relationship with that person going like, you know, during Halloween, hey, you doing anything for Halloween? How's the holiday? How was your Thanksgiving? What are you doing? How's your road trip? You know, just remember what's going on in her life and don't be about you. Make sure you're about them and people will realize that you're genuine. You know, I was showing an example last time I did this video. I am literally talking to about 50 different people every day every day. Sometimes it's 30, sometimes it's 40, but it can be up to 50 to 60 different people in one day. Now, the next day, I'm reconnecting. Now, I'm not talking to these same people every day. I'm going ahead and talking to new people the next day, and then new people the next day after that. And maybe I go back and reconnect to those people I connected to on Monday and follow up with them. You know, so I'm constantly always adding people and connecting with people and following up with people um, when I have online parties and, you know, making sure that I'm like, hey, how's it going? How did you like the mascara? What, what did you like best? And then if they say, oh, I love it, you know what I mean? Obviously, I ask do you want to have an online party? What do you think about that? Or, or show me, I want to see. And when she does show you, you know, you can make a big deal and say, can I post it? Um, you know, so always, you know, try to make that connection. But um, with when it comes to network marketing, all it is is go in your Facebook, go look at girls that you haven't talked to 
in over six months and start connecting with those girls again. You know what I mean? Because you won't realize how many circles of friends that you really have until you start going after it. Yes, it is tedious and yes, it's difficult, but it works. It works, it works, it works. Girls, I had over $8,000 in sales last month, okay? It works. And I usually have around anywhere from two to $5,000 in sales every month, okay? It works, okay? And I'm not hounding girls. I'm not, girls aren't blocking me. They're not getting annoyed by my posts, you know? And I, I'm, I'm generally messaging them and be like, hey, how's it going? What are you doing today? If you see something funny, be like, oh my gosh, look what I just saw right now. You know, make that connection. So when it does come time for her to try a new product, she just goes like, hey, by the way, um, I need a foundation brush or hey, I need a new mascara or hey, I need this. And you're like, done. It just will come naturally, okay? So your homework is to go in your friends list, message 10 girls today and or comment on their, their Facebook. And I also want you guys to be adding at least two friends a day, okay? There are is a suggestion saying, you may know this person and you have this many friends, okay? If they have like 20, 40, 50, I've had like 75 girls in common, okay? Add at least two girls a day. When I first started Unique, I had less, at about 700 friends, okay? You have to start adding those friends, okay? And even though you've never met them or you don't know who they are, more than likely, if you have 47 friends in common, they will add you. Trust me. So I've been in Unique a little over a year now. I only had one girl actually say, hey, do I know you? She still added me, okay? And we had a lot. We had like 50-something friends in common. And I just kind of played dumb. And um, she's like, yeah, we probably met sometime in high school. And, um, you know, we didn't go to the same high school, but our high schools were in the same district. So we had a lot of the same friends. But um, that being said, you know, people, if you have a lot of people in common, they want to make those connections, you know, and just stay in contact with them, see what's going on with their life. And I know, I know it's a lot, but it's worth it in the end. Okay. You have to start building that customer, you know, client, you have to start building that trust. Okay. Because once people trust you, they're going to come back to you over and over and over again. You know what I mean? When you say, Hey, just came out this sport shadow, you have to try it. And they're like, okay, send me one. You know, it's just going to come really, really easy. All right. So message me if you have any friends, but that's where you need to start with when it comes to your network marketing. Okay. Um, you'd be surprised on how many girls I've rekindled with and stayed connected with, um, Nina on the team. We were talking for well over nine months, um, online. Um, you know, off and on, not every day, off and on um, until she finally joined the team. Same with Danielle. Me and Danielle went to high school together and we just continued that relationship. Um, I rekindled with her from Facebook because of it, you know, so you'd be surprised on how, um, how many people that you will rekindle with um, from high school or, you know, from when you're younger and um, you'll, you'll realize, you know, you actually have a stronger friendship now than you did, you know, when you were younger. So try it out, see if it works. If you have nobody respond, try 20 people the next day, but trust me, you'll start building those relationships and it has to start somewhere. You know, you got to do it organically because once you start doing it organically, you'll start building and building and building and building and building and building and building, and, building, and then people will start joining your team. You know what I mean? So network marketing is not difficult. It's just, you have to be consistent. You have to build those relationships and you have to keep doing it every day, every day, every day. All right. Doesn't matter. Um, you know, um, where you're at, if you're in a small town, if you're in a big town, wherever you need to join makeup, um, groups online, join a mommy and me online, join groups online that have nothing to do with unique. Okay. Introduce yourself. You can make those connections. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. Okay. You can make those, um, connections. Okay. So if you have any questions, ask in the comments below, message me, but I'm going to be asking every single one of them. Have you met, have you, um, message your 10 girls today.